safety man, and he is a tough tackler. Played well for so many years for Atlanta. Doing the same thing here. Third and one situation for the Giant. Coder gets the call and gets the Giant first. Short yardage. You find out who really wants it. You can be in a losing team, but short yardage football is sort of one on one and not too fancy. No computers or anything. Just get them out. The baseball situation now has the Pirates 2 nothing over the Chicago Cubs in the bottom of the fourth. Stargell is just completely outstanding, isn't he? The old Devils having a great time. Just tremendous. First, first down rushing that the Giants have been able to pick up as Sims is going to throw back across the field to Coder. Diagnosed very well by the Saints. First man out there was Don Reese. Pat Hughes played it well, too. The linebacker came up and I think sort of made Coder fool around with it. Again, this kind of a play is going to be tough for a young man to act out because he hasn't even really done a lot of drop back stuff yet and showed people what he looks like dropping back. Ball is thrown a little too high and even Van Horn's late block doesn't keep Hughes from turning it back inside. Good defensive play. It'll be second and 14. Don Reese out there to help as well. Phil Sims, Moorhead State at the New Orleans Superdome. Fires deep. And fires shy of Jimmy Robinson on the coverage, Eric Felton. Who is one of the fine young hitters in the secondary in the whole league. He's just back for the first time with Nolan. Danny Abraman, which was telling me that they put uh, Felton into that flotation thing to see what your composite bone muscle against fat. Yeah. And that he's the only person they've ever known that needed more fat. That he's all bone and muscle. That's <laughs> Felton. <laughs> I never even heard of anybody like that. <laughs> Ernest Gray and Dwight Scales, the wide receivers for Phil Sims, who's under pressure and fires complete. Gary Shirt, the tight end, made that reception. Down in the arms of Don Schwartz. Shirk is hurt, huh? Looks like he's got a foot, too. Shirk has heard us. The New Orleans Saint player is down back in the vicinity of where Sims had to throw that ball. There he is, Don oh. Reese. Six foot six, 260 pounder that used to be with Don Shula in Miami. Good pass rusher. Just beat out Joe Campbell, the big young horse from Maryland, and he looks like he might be really hurt. Looks like Joe Campbell might have another chance pretty soon. Don Reese being administered to by the Saint trainers. Don't forget tonight on CBS 60 Minutes as Dan Rather will be talking with Fidel Castro. Archie Bunker's place follows that, and one day at a time, Alice, the Jeffersons, Trapper John, yeah. MD. Pretty good lineup. Wow. Must have used hypnosis. He jumped up. Looks like he's feeling better than when he went down. That's a good sign. Don Reese jogs off the side. What about this young man and what he has done, Tom? Rich Motti. He set the all-time record for solo tackles, covering punts and kickoffs last year, like 27. And he is, uh, of course, Jennings can throw it, run it, or kick it. Jennings at this time does not have an uncovered receiver, however. He did earlier. Jennings Ooh. hits a bomb. Motti with a fair catch. A rare sight right there. <laughs> but Dwight Scales looking right at him, and down goes a flag. New Orleans 17. The Giants nothing. Let's see what the penalty situation is about with ten and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. The discussion with Red Cashin and his group. He is the referee. But the hit. Giants have done something. Headlinesman is Ed Marion, by the way. Back judge John Fouch. Field judge Bill Kingsett. The umpires Art Demas. Line judge Tom Dooley. And the side judge is Bob Rice. Face mask by number 51 of the kickers during the return. First down. 
Frank Marion heard the call. Huh? Marion grabbed somebody by the beak. 17 nothing. World Series of Golf next. He is two good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Where's that husband of yours? Okay, watch your back. Coming through. Is that all you carried up? Is that all? This is low and rough. So what are we celebrating? This is the second year we're sharing this house. I didn't think we'd make it through the second week. When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Yeah, I shouldn't say this, because you might think I'm serious. But here's to good friends. Low and brown. You've been off the job a long time. But you still had money coming in every month. You had a nationwide insurance disability income plan to help take care of things. Things important to your family. Good time? Super. Everyone loved the dress. And important to you. Part of Nationwide's blanket protection for your family or your business. Nationwide is on your side. Damn. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire at the Superdome in New Orleans. Or New Orleans. New Orleans. They say here. Our two Manning still remains. The same Saint quarterback. That's Tony Galbraith. Galbraith spins back inside, is hit down quickly by Jeff Weston first. Two, three yards. This is when you have to be very careful. Hey, there's a baseball score, and Pittsburgh is hanging tough. Of course, their magic number is still two no matter what else happens to Montreal. They just figure to win them, right? If Pittsburgh wins them all, including that one, and Montreal wins them all, including today and tomorrow, then they'll have a playoff, second and nine. By the way, the word on Don Reese, the Saint defensive tackle, is that he just had the wind knocked out of him, and he should be back when they come back. Uh -huh. Muncie on the option pass over Mike Harris. And did he have him? He was open by four or five, and Harris looked like he didn't know which way to go. Harris starts to come back for it and then spins around. Pretty good fake by the running back. About three good ones now, and he should have probably gone ahead and thrown it. He wants to be very careful because Ike Harris is wide open. He now is. he turns around. He can't believe that he got so much on the throw and goes down in the heap. And the other part of that National League Eastern Division baseball race, Philadelphia won nothing over Montreal, top of the fifth. You saw that. Archie, if they lose, excuse me, if they lose, it's all over. Montreal, I mean, sorry. Archie Manning is 11 for 15 for 112 yards, and he's beginning to warm it up. Again, Manning fires, and this time underthrows in the direction of Ike Harris. Terry Jackson on the coverage. And the Saints will have to punt. They lead 17-0 over the Giants. Looked like Otis McKinney, too. They were in a nickel defense. The Giants were in Otis McKinney. Darn near had an interception. Archie's mad at himself. Archie Manning was a heck of a baseball player in college as well as football. Outfielder? Pitcher. pitcher. And hitter. Giants put the rush on Partridge. He still gets it away. Jimmy Robinson will field, and look who's close by and knocked off is Mountie. So the Giants will take it over in St. Territory with nine minutes and 33 seconds left to play in the third quarter at 17 0. New car prices got you on the run. Get a great car buy at Hertz Buy a Car. We sell only the best cars from the Hertz Rent a Car fleet, and we give you the complete. Specially trained. Was it because they know Midas has the right brake parts in stock? Or was it because they know Midas has over 20 years' experience under the car? Well, whatever the reason, it certainly was no accident. <laughs> it pays to Midasize your brakes. Next Saturday, it's a firm and spectacular bid in live coverage of the Jockey Club Gold Cup. You'll say...
You saw it on CBS Sports. That same sparkling coverage that you saw and you watched last week. What's uh, figured to be another great race. All of it here on CBS. Here is Phil Sims at the New Orleans Superdome. First and ten Giants at the St. 44. And Sims gives to Coder. And Coder breaks a tackle and Coder swings to the outside. He'll have a first down and more. Doug Coder inside the 30. To about the New Orleans St. 29. Stopped finally by safety man Tom Myers. The tenth carry for Coder. He has 55 yards now. Watch the move. Dips it inside. Gets Bordelon to make his shot and then takes him off the thigh guard and runs. Again, he's holding the ball while we would think maybe in the wrong arm, but you don't care. He protects it and keeps digging. Pretty good average for the day. Five and a half yards for Doug. Phil Sims. Calls him at the 28. Gives again to Doug Fodor, and again he bangs into the secondary of the Saints where Tom Myers met him at the 25. Jeter pulled a thigh muscle on that last running pass by Muncie. The he Eagles 10 7 over the Pittsburgh Steelers. We were talking about those hamstring problems earlier, pulled muscles. And the Steelers have many of those. Buffalo 7, Baltimore 6, second quarter. Phil Sims has his Giants down 0 17, second and seven. Again, uh, Recovery. Don Reese on the recovery. That's only the second fumble the Giants have lost all year. That has not been the problem. The young quarterback, he puts it right on the elbow of Doug Coder. That was not Doug Coder's fault. He had the arms in the correct position. The Saints have the football. Announcing a gas-saving breakthrough from Ford Motor Company. The first and only automatic overdrive transmission in any American car. When your car reaches about 40, Ford's new transmission automatically shifts into overdrive. The result? Your engine runs one-third slower for increased highway fuel efficiency. It's one of many engineering improvements that help 1980 Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln cars average over 120 more estimated highway miles than last year on 20 gallons of gas. That's incredible. Fully automatic overdrive, only at Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln dealers. Remember this when you choose an airline. American was first with computerized reservations to answer your calls faster. We were first with curbside baggage processing to handle your luggage faster. And we were first with one-stop check-in to get you through the airport faster. We're American Airlines, and finding ways to serve you better is one of the things we do best. We're American Airlines, doing what we do best. It's the quarterback's job to put the ball in. Coder will be looking already at the hole. And young Sims is a little too far away and hits him right on the elbow with it. Not Doug Coder's fault. He's got to be looking for places to go and just feel that ball come in under his arm like that. First down, New Orleans. 8.09 left. Third quarter. Galbraith spins straight ahead for about eight. Big hole in the middle of that giant defense. Calvin Miller, another giant injured. And the defensive line is really depleted at the moment for the Giants. Jeff Weston playing right defensive end. Miller is out. Mendenhall is out. Tabor he's continues to play. And he's a rookie. And that was just a misdirection, but inexperienced people will chase. The situation, Phil Tabor made the tackle. The situation in the Giant defense is such that Dan Lloyd, number 54, who is normally a linebacker, is playing defensive tackle. Whoa. Look at this. The Eagles 17. Pittsburgh Steelers 7. Got details? A one-yard run by Wilbert Montgomery. That's with 2.49 left in the third quarter. Tony Franklin has also added a field goal. 
Pittsburgh, of course, was unbeaten. Here is Chuck Muncy hopping over a couple. And here comes the penalty flag from way back deep in the secondary. Ray Rhodes made the stop on Chuck Muncy. Archie Manning is mad, too. He is going up to the official because he knows he has the drive. They're beginning to get some tempo against the injured team, and it's going to be holding. Muncy had the first down, but they're going to bring it all back. Those Eagles, your alumni, with their three and one record. Let's listen. Holding number 85 on the offense. They're down. Tight end Henry Childs. Philadelphia still defeating Montreal 1 0 in the top of the sixth. The Expos lose. And Pittsburgh loses. Things are still alive. Manning uh, runs away from Phil Tabor and wisely throws it away. Something that he might not have done a few years ago, but the Giants had that diagnosed perfectly. Man Pelt kicked out to help Terry Jackson on Chandler, and there was really no place to go with it. And a pretty good pass rush as they twist and stunt coming up the middle. Look at Miller, or number 73 in there. Yeah, that's Tabor that's also number 80 is the one chasing Archie. He just threw it right over near Gumbo. 73 is Jeff Weston. And it's a makeshift defensive line. As Rick Partridge stands back inside of his own 10. He's averaged 39 yards plus today. That's a line drive that Robinson should be able to do something with, and he does. Robinson gets back to about the 44 yard line. 17 nothing the New Orleans Saints lead. Somebody hurt again. That might be Robinson. Well I'll tell you what, even Eddie Croak you know our good friend the publicity man is injured. Uh, he came out of the parking lot didn't he and got hit. Huh? Got run over by a car. I'm glad to see him up and around yeah, and helping. Good. Robinson is shaking right there his knees. See that twist. Twisted and painful. And you know, people aren't trying to do that. I, you know, it's a physical, and uh, sometimes that apparently looks like it's violence, but you don't have time to really try to twist somebody's leg. I am anxious to see Magic Johnson and what he does. I've always been an admirer of Kareem Abdul Jabbar, of course, and Bill Walton with the San Diego Clippers now. And how about Larry Bird? I wonder what he's going to do with the Boston Celtics. All that when the NBA starts on CBS Friday, October the 12th, 11:30 Eastern Time. And Detroit ought to be a lot better this year too. You know that? Yeah, that's going to be. Uh, of course, I think they're the, probably the best athletes in the world, and I just am constantly amazed at how big and fast and how how high they can jump and run. And your buddy Billy Cunningham has Doug Collins back there. And Dr. J and a few of those people. Daryl Dawkins. He should be out here. Yeah. He said he might pull the gondola down. <laughs> and dunk it. That's right. That would be a great year for the NBA on CBS. There's Robinson getting a pretty nice hand from the group here. I tell you, a lot of people think that the Saints get a move and they've got a real good football team. Looks like he might even hold in his wrist. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's a leg problem after all. He just doesn't have everything to give. This young man, Robinson, is just fearless. Just totally fearless. might be that left, might be the left wrist or the elbow, huh? Yeah. Sometimes when you try to break that fall and come down on just the right wrong kind of balance, it's gonna have a disastrous effect. Here's Phil Sims back to throw with good protection. Fires. Ball was there. Dwight scales the intended receiver. It was thrown. Pretty hard. The New York Jets 26, Miami 10. Miami was unbeaten beginning today. That's the third quarter score. Well, that was really a good throw, though. You're getting paid to catch hard throws, too. That quarterback cleaned that off and really threw it right on the money. It has something to do with that number, 88. Billy Taylor is now one of the Giants backs along with Emory Moorhead. Taylor has replaced Doug Cody. Sims on a draw play to Moorhead. Emery breaks almost one tackle, gets a couple of yards before Durland Moore takes him down. And that time Emery showed his inexperience because if he'd have cut inside the block by Van Horn, he had some yardage. 
Pirates three. The Cubs nothing. Top of the sixth. Stargell and Parker. Garner and the rest of the group. Hanging tough. Third and eight here. Line of scrimmage the 47. Third down eight. The Giants need for a first down. 17 nothing. Saints lead at 550 left third quarter. That's summer all the conflict time. In New Orleans, as back goes Sin. On the quick out, which was thrown quickly from Fright, I think. Pretty good coverage on the outside. Boy, Houston's jumping on Cleveland now. That's another touchdown run by Earl Campbell. Brother Earl makes it 31 to 10 now. You stop and look at that unbeaten list. And the scores we're getting now, there were only four teams without a loss going into this weekend. Tampa Bay, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Miami. The only one that might survive is Tampa Bay. They lead Chicago 10 to 3. As that ball takes a giant bounce, and Dave Jennings back up at midfield. Jumps with elation. Robinson uh, for the Giants, dislocated elbow, out for the rest of the game. But I mean, that's. Uh, that's that might painful, not, huh? Might not be just the game. That punt by Jennings was 44 yards. 17 nothing. New Orleans over the New York Giants. Very careful time for defense because Archie Manning has a lot of points to work with, and he's got great speed, and it's just as easy to go 88 as it is 18. Just looking at the front four again for the Giants. Now it's Miller, Martin. Weston and Tabor. Not household words. Muncie. Stopped at the line of scrimmage by Brad Van Pelt. Boy, what injuries can do to a football team. Van Pelt and Kelly had 29 tackles between them against the Eagles a week ago. Uh, you know, when anybody but your middle linebacker is making most of the tackles, uh, people up front are really hurting. I'm just looking at that group that's up there now. Rookie, rookie, three-year man, ex-Canadian football player. Manning picked off. Beasley Reese circling wide to his left. He has West Chandler over there to contend with, and Chandler made an excellent defensive play. West Chandler took him down. Beasley Reese on the interception. We told you that Reese has just kept plugging all year and hitting people. Beasley steps in, gets his first interception of the year. Archie had a deep sideline by Ike Harris and should have probably taken that one, but this time with a little pressure by Tabor, I believe, he tries to dump it off, and number 28 comes out. Chandler's a good athlete, though. Watch Wes Chandler play this off. Yeah, he's going to string out the interference and <laughs> come back and make the tackle. That is good play. That is only instinctive what he just did. The Giants. Billy Taylor tries to cut back inside and does get a few yards. Don Reese made the tackle. Got his arm out there. The line of scrimmage should be inside the 15 for the Giants. Down about the 14 at the moment. 420. 425 make it left third quarter. The Saints lead the Giants 17 nothing. That play got five yards. And did, you, did you see that time if the back had just hesitated a second and cut off the block? The blocks aren't too bad. A little bit of inexperience running the ball too. Minnesota Vikings leading Detroit 13 to three. Second and five. The Superdome. Here is Taylor again. Billy Taylor. Now that was impressive. Red Raider. Finally getting some playing time. Look at this. You see him shake that fist. You think the Giants aren't frustrated? They go out to practice every day and they have to go face the people when games are over with. Good running and he got that shoulder down to make it. And once more. Fettersfield on the tackle. But uh, running with authority was Billy Taylor. It'll be third down now. And one. The Giants on the move. The quarterback. Phil Sims, Gary Shirk, and Al Dixon, both in the game, double tight ends. Let's see what Phil Sims does. Straight ahead, got a first down. It's Billy Taylor. Emory Moorhead, Taylor faked off to the left. Moorhead got the first down, an X-wide receiver playing fullback. And socked it to him straight ahead. 
put the head down, didn't try to score anything else, just get me what I can get. Watch Clack come off. They're working on Durland. Reese is taken down in there. Good blocking by Coppins on that. That's a darn good first down shot. So it'll be first and goal, Giants. And Phil Sims decides that uh, something is not quite the way he'd like it to be and calls a timeout. So the Giants will have two left in their comeback quest. Tonight on CBS, 60 Minutes. And the feature of 60 Minutes, of course, it's all good, but the feature tonight is Dan Rather speaking with Fidel Castro. The whole country ought to sit in on that one. They usually do on 60 Minutes anyway. Talk in depth and in detail about the Russian troops in Cuba. Fidel and Rather on 60 Minutes. A giant timeout has it 17 nothing New Orleans with 254 left to play in the third quarter as Phil Sims has look at that step completed his talk. How about that fetter spiel 117 solo tackles last year. Kane Tucky that of course uh, would let you know almost just that statistic alone what kind of defense they're playing the middle linebacker in the Nolan Landry defenses is the guy who does it most days of Leroy Jordan and Sam Huff and now here Cubs got a run Dave Kingman just hit his 48th home run of the year and now it's 3-1 Pittsburgh here's Moorhead smothered at the five Sims looked over at Billy Taylor like perhaps he didn't carry out the kind of fake that he thought he might have designed. Let's watch it. Van Horn is in there, left guard. He'll come firing across. He is doing a pretty good job, and the runner actually runs into the defensive tackle that he's working on. Derlin Moore was being taken out of there. And here goes Emory Moorhead. And in comes Ken Johnson, who started Moorhead in pain. Second and goal at the five for the Giants. They trail 17 nothing. Phil Sims, the quarterback. Taylor gets the carry. Billy Taylor. And Billy Taylor wants in the end zone and does get there. Billy Taylor, who's been begging for a chance to play, showed you he deserved it. And Kenny Johnson gets one of the darndest blocks you've ever seen for a fullback. Watch number 48 come. Right out here and cut back inside and hit that linebacker and knock him right out of the hole. And you're right. That's the best way to end frustration, disappointment, the score. Good effort. Joe Danello, it's been a long time between extra points for him with Randy Dean holding. Is that Billy Taylor's first touchdown? That's his first touchdown and only the third the Giants have scored rushing all year. Well, it's certainly worth another look. Watch this linebacker try to fill the hole. And number 48 take Fetter Spiel and run right over the top of him. Just by the flag. And Lois Grooms and Ray Brown also involved on the same attempt to tackle. The Superdome in New Orleans opening day against Atlanta must have really been something here. Remember the Falcons beat the Saints last year in the last seconds twice and they came down here this year. The Saints with revenge in mind and Atlanta won it 40 to 34 sellout crowd overtime game. What about the Tampa Bay Chicago game what's going on in that. Tampa Bay 10 to 3 of 34 yard field goal by Bob Thomas has the Bears on the board. Joe Danello set the kickoff. Marty back at the St. Goal line. Wonder what he'll do this time with it. Twice he has broken it toward the sideline. This one he may not do anything with. At the goal line, Rich Marty. 
<laughs> Hit hard outside the 20. Really banged by John Scorpion. That four or five yards is really important, though, getting it out over the 20. World Series of Golf still has Larry Nelson leading Bill Rogers by one. Tom Watson and Lon Henkel by two. Lee Trevino making a move along with Howard Twitty at minus five. That'll be on CBS right after football. West Chandler split up five to the right. Mike Harris. Mike Harris to the right, beg your pardon. Chandler to the left. Archie Manning gives to Galbraith. And he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, not much more. 17-7. The Saints lead the Giants with a minute 45 left to play third quarter. Washington 16, Atlanta 7. Redskins surprising a lot of people. 37-yard field goal by Mark Mosley. You're absolutely right. They're really surprising Atlanta today. <laughs> Archie's got to get some points. There's a lot of time left the whole fourth oh, period. Yes, sir. And things are changing around in a very really rapid fashion. Archie goes back. George Martin had the rush on him. Henry Childs, the intended receiver, might have had a step or two. Childs can move. Beasley Reese back with him. Archie gets up. He got a pretty good rush. How many tight ends do you know in this league that can get 52 three yards downfield in a hurry? Let's watch the blocking. Looks like George Martin, number 75, making the big play, coming in from behind. As we said downfield, uh, it looked like Childs was covered for most of that throw. Phil Tabor helped out George Martin on the rush. Pretty active, isn't he? The, the big Oki. It really is. Philadelphia Phillies now 2 0 over Montreal, top of the six. Muncie jogs over in motion. Tabor puts some rush on Manning again to Child. Loose Beasley Reese on the coverage. Oh, that's one of the great things to watch in football when a tight end, a great receiver. Goes up and gets the ball, and the secondary man can cut him out from under it. Childs had the one hand on it oh. and almost in his grasp. Boy, watch Reese. You're six foot one, and you're battling fellows that are six, four, or five. This is the only reason you come to practice in the morning. Oh, that's a great play. Great television shot, too. Took him right out from under it. Thank you, Sandy. Beasley Reese back for the Giants this time. Partridge kick hangs high, and Reese goes up with a fair catch signal. Robinson would normally be back there, but he has a dislocated elbow and will not be back. Right now, the Giants look like the, they've been turpentine. They're hot, and they want to play football, and they're a little bit nasty. Looks like they have a good chance to make this an interesting game in this fourth period coming up. 59 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 17-7, New Orleans leads. Phil Sims, the giant quarterback. His debut hasn't been spectacular by any means, but it hasn't been bad either. Five for 10 for 59 yards. From the 39, this is Billy Taylor. And the Red Raider gets five or six before he's stopped by Lewis Grooms. This is called setting your jaw now. Nothing fancy about the scoring play or that run by Taylor. Look at the score. Imagine Michaels. Walt Michaels a little happy. Jets 26-17. But Bob Greasy just hit Bruce Hardy with an 18-yard TD pass. And that's 11-23 left in the fourth period. Still a lot of time. Time left here in the third quarter is now 25 seconds. Second and five. The five-yard pickup by Taylor created this situation. And Taylor again. A flag goes down, and it looks like... We might have a holding call against the Giants. That play perhaps got enough for the first down, but uh, it'll be disallowed. That hole really opened up, didn't it? As a big hole opens up right in the middle, you can see Clack going over to the right of your screen. Van Horn was working on Fetterspiel. Looked like it might be JT. Holding by the offense, yes. number 68. Yes. Still second down. Yeah. 
Buffalo 14 6 you saw that score. Second down. Sims is hit just as he tries to release it. It is still complete to Ken Johnson. And I don't believe I just saw that. I don't believe that the young quarterback got back up. Talk about being undressed before a lot of people. And look at him. He's, he's moving his left arm and his chest a little bit. What's the right part of your screen? Let's see where it comes from. This is a complete pass. You're right, Pat. We're not going to believe it. Here comes Reese. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. The New Orleans Saints 17, the Giants 7. We now pause for a word from our local station. Tonight, Edith gets a job in a mental hospital, and that drives Archie crazy. Join the fun at Archie Bunker's Place tonight at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. This is CBS. Sunday. Hi, everybody. Edith has a surprise, and it drives Archie crazy, especially when Murray sides with Edith. Then on One Day at a Time, it's Barbara and Ann in the same class. I feel so incredibly stupid. Archie Bunker's place and One Day at a Time, Sunday at 8, 7 Central. National League Eastern Division baseball race. That situation has Pittsburgh winning 3-1. Philadelphia at last word was beating Montreal, so it could be all over. The Pirates could be in today. For the Giants, third down, Phil Simms. Fires and caught and almost touched down by Johnny Perkins. I think he tripped after he got by the New Orleans Saints players. He might have been able to get back up and run I was with it. Just thinking that. Watch this throw. The young man from Moorhead State is six out of eleven before this one. Make it seven or twelve. A real rifle splitting the zone. The up and the deep man. Oh, it would have been probably. Uh, and he's out of bounds anyway. Just a little bit. Once they say as you go down as a result of contact as he did, you can't run anymore. Good blocking now. Van Horn and company are working up front. It was a good throw by Sims. Here's live action. Perfect. Ken Johnson, the ball carrier, does not get back to the line of scrimmage. Don Reese and Pat Hughes made the tackle as Ray Perkins looks on. He has to feel impressed. The team got 100 and what 46 yards against the Eagles, the number one uh, rushing defensive team last week. You saw that play signals from the offensive coordinator, or the man who's responsible to get those signals out there, Pat Hoxson. Philadelphia two, Montreal nothing. Top of the seventh now. Pirates win. The Expos lose. It's over. Sims back. Intended for Johnny Perkins again, knocked loose by Ray Brown. Boy, different attitude. Sims is squeezing those passes off, and they're coming back trying to catch him. Even the linemen then were trying to go forward and catch him. It's an upbeat looking uh, giant offense right now. And this young man just got drilled and knocked down before he threw that completion. Step right up in the pocket. Joe Danello, in the meantime, loosening up in front of the giant bench with still 13 and a half minutes left to play. Down by 10, 17 7. Third and 14. Sims is 7 of 13 for 104 yards now. I'm knocking. And another attempt coming up right here as he sends Billy Taylor in motion to the right. Sims straight back. The rush is off. Sims hangs in there and throws and gets rid of it. And they do not get out of field goal range. It could be. <laughs> But still, Danello will have a chance. The two defensive ends, Don Reese and Elois Grooms, put the rush on. And now we'll see Danello. Boy, that's as good a play as a rookie quarterback can make, other than throwing the TD on this. The company will show up very, very quickly. Here's Reese. There's Here's Grooms. Grooms. How does he get out of that? <laughs> Everybody. Johnson's looking up saying, is he still alive? And still possessed of enough presence of mind to get rid of the ball and not get called for a penalty. Danello with a shot. That's not good. Far enough, but wide. And the Saints will take over back at the original line of scrimmage. 17-7, New Orleans. Five, seven, get one free sales on right now. Purchase
anticipating now. That's where you see this poster. Thanks, AC. Americans are learning that if their car's plugs are misfiring, a tune-up with new AC spark plugs can help improve gas mileage. Thanks, AC. Now's the time to tune up, because AC Delco is making it possible for you to get eight AC spark plugs for the price of seven. Thanks, AC. Tune up with AC. Buy seven. Yeah, we agree. Thanks, AC. Today, Kendall Oil's Car in the Street interview talks with a Ferrari. Hmm. Buongiorno. I'm told you're demanding. Demanding? Never. Only when I don't get the right treatment. Like Kendall Oil? See, si. Kendall means a confidence. Right. When you pour in Kendall Oil, you pour in confidence. A confidence to help keep engines protected and running trouble-free. What more could a car ask for? I am not demanding. It's Kendall or nothing. Kendall means confidence. Ask any car. Sandy. This will tell you, this is the place to watch to know whether a field goal is good or not. And the side saddle guys hook it just a little bit when they do have problems usually, huh? They do. The NBA on CBS, don't forget, starts October the 12th. San Diego, Los Angeles. Chuck Muncie broke out of somebody's arms. Good rushing team like New Orleans, Pat. Uh, objective, of course, eat the clock alive. Just make it so that the Giants don't get the ball again. Giants came in running only about 56 plays a game average, and people like Dallas run it like 73 times total offense. You can tell even by the way that Phil Sims conducts himself on the sideline that he's been introduced. And he looks more confident already. Second and five. Harris goes in motion. Manning misses the handoff to Muncie. The flag is down. Manning throws to Chandler. Wes Chandler at the giant 40, but the whole thing will come back because of holding against the New Orleans Saints. Looked like holding either Carson or, or perhaps Van Pelt, the linebackers, as they were going by. Tony Galbraith. Walked by that official's flag and just put a big foot on it. Stomped it. I've seen players try to eat it so that it just disappears, but they look for it and find it, those fellas, those zebras. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, very prized possession. Good cashing. Back to the 19. Holding number 65 on the offense, still second down. 6-5 on the offense is Robert Woods, the offensive right tackle. Minnesota 13, Detroit 10. And maybe they don't miss Tarkenton as much as everybody thought they would. Brandon seems to be doing the job for a lot less money. We'll be there next week when they play Dallas. Manning has it picked off. Harry Carson, the middle linebacker, who struggles down to about the sink, 14-yard line. Tough day for Archie. And is 53 scary when he comes up with an interception? He, he looks like one of the great fullbacks of all time. Watch the middle linebacker. You can see him getting out of your screen lower left now. A pass rush. Miller's after it. Pretty good pressure. Right, Carson just had it read all the way. A good call on defense. Now, that is a runaway locomotive. Pass intended for Wes Chandler, who made the tackle. Or the drag down. First down at the 18 for the Giants under the directorship of Phil Sims. And Billy Taylor gets the call, and he is very impressive. Billy Taylor running hard. And all he has to do is just hit that trap hole a fraction to the, to the back side of it. Watch Van Horn and company now really open it up. There's the cross blocky. He's so eager to get in there, he runs into the person that's being blocked, which is Fetterspiel in this case, still makes yardage, and as you said, he's hitting it a ton. Taylor is six feet tall, weighs 215. Second and six. And he's healthy. And wants to play. Taylor again hurdles down near the 10. Tripped up by Tom Myers, the safety man. Giants are a little tired of being uh, taken lightly, aren't they? Looks like there's some very crisp young play. Aggressive, over the top, don't care what happens type. 
led by number 38 and by number 11 who just called a play with his call from the sideline Phil Sims. Sims has Taylor and Johnson behind him. Drops. Cuts down Johnson. Out of the backfield comes Ken Johnson. The Saints were in a blitz and they got burned. What a read by Sims. He sees that safety blitz coming to his left. He knew exactly who to go for. And all week at practice, Perkins could not believe how quickly he was picking up things. Look at the left. He sees it coming. Where's my man? You gamble. You either keep the backs in the block or put them out there and hit them early. This time, touchdown, Giants. Good play. Ken Johnson. Now Joe Danella will try to make it 17-14. And the crowd at the Superdome in New Orleans has suddenly gone to the state of mind that our team might need some more encouragement. The Giants are down 17-14. Here's a touchdown. Now, a highlight of the incredible Ford factory tour. Incredible developments in our search for good performance, better mileage, and low emissions. We're working on a ceramic gas turbine engine that'll get at least 30% better mileage than a conventional engine of the same size. Buddy, I'd call that incredible. I would. We're experimenting with battery power. Uh, for instance, this hybrid vehicle. Over 20 miles per hour, it runs on gas. Under 20, runs on electric. Oh, that's even more incredible. Is there such a word as incredible-er? Ford is even working on an engine that gets mileage like a diesel, but runs a lot cleaner. Is there anything more incredible than incredible? <laughs> yes, our little four-cylinder Mustang. It accelerates like some cars with eight-cylinder engines because it's turbocharged. Friends, I guess there's only one way left to express our basic emotions. Ford, that's incredible! To take the incredible Ford factory tour, write us for information. Danello, but it's number two of golf. The best of world class players shoot for the title in the World Series of Golf. You'll say, You saw it on CBS Sports. Pittsburgh lead has been cut to one. The Pirates over the Cubs 3 2. Bottom of the seventh. Joe Danello set to kick off. Morty to return for the New Orleans Saints. He'll have a chance with this one. From the four. A few blockers, but not many. As the wedge just sort of disappeared. Bob Torrey made the tackle, the leaderboard at the World Series of Golf, which will follow football. Still has Larry Nelson on the top. Bill Rogers, one back. Followed by Watson and Hinkle, and then Trevino and Twitty. Uh, from the Firestone Country Club in Akron, Ohio. Archie Manning is 11 of 20 for 112 yards, much below the 300 and something he had a week ago. And two interceptions. Muncie and Galbraith, and here's Muncie trying to swing around to the right side, and down he goes as the play just didn't develop. Had his two guards out in front. Van Horn did a great job of stretching that out. Van Pelt, pardon me. Brad Van Pelt, the linebacker, really stretched it out. You can see Nolan's got that worried look that all coaches get when you can't keep the ball. Now you don't want to fumble. Good effort here. Watch number 10 to the left of your screen. Beasley Reese up. Beasley Reese coming up. Linebacker and safety make good defensive play on the line of scrimmage. About a yard gain, perhaps not even that much. So we'll make it second and ten and many loads and throws. West Chandler can't hold. Would have had a first down, but the ball bounced out of his arms. West holding the back of his legs. Terry Jackson on the coverage. Looks like West might be all right. Though. Like Eddie Hughes said something to him, didn't he? Like, don't just spike the ball up in the air. If you can't catch it, stuff it. He almost put it up in the interception category. Substitution coming in for the Giants as well as West Chandler went back to the huddle. Archie Manning now facing a third down situation. Still 10 minutes, 15 seconds left to play. And he's missed on his last six passes. Another 
throwing situation or perhaps a draw situation coming up right here. George Martin moves inside. The Giants take a blitz. Now back out. Manning goes straight back. The protection is good, and Tony Galbraith will have it. Safe first down, just barely. Brian Kelly on the coverage. Good play. Good play by the fullback. Watch number 34. And Kelly is hot in pursuit. Pretty good rush here. You can see Tabor to the right of your screen with the battle. Ball is a little bit sidearm, but they're enough for the first down. They Saints really needed that. Brian Kelly on the giant coverage. Protection again. Some young people that are just strapping on their helmets and going after the QB. It'll be a Saint first down at their own 32. They lead 17-14 now. Fake is to Tony Galbraith. Manning down the middle, overthrown. Intended for the tight end, Henry Childs. Coverage was good. Otis McKinney. Calvin Miller puts on pretty good rise, 76. On the line of scrimmage, the Giants are giving that offensive line all it can handle. Muncie tries to hit him, and Miller goes right on by it. Martin was there, too. Calvin Miller, who hasn't been a Giant that long, Looks like he might be a giant a lot longer. Archie Manning's record, you saw. It'll be second and 10. 9.26 left to play. 17-14 Saints over the Giants. They led it one time, 17-0. Manning sidearms out of bounds. Attended for Galbraith. Manning goes down into the rush. Brad Van Pelt on the coverage. Again, it was Miller that put the heat on Archie Manning. Archie had to really drop down and throw it sidearm, and no one wants to know what was going on. Van Pelt had perfect coverage, and Miller just came a hell and right up the middle. A lot of time left, 9.20. And you know the Giants have finished strongly. Both Philadelphia games, they almost won them in the last few seconds, and they don't give up many points in the fourth quarter. Miller and Tabor led the defensive charge that time, so it'll be third and ten. And a most important first down for both teams at the moment. 17-14 at the Superdome in Los Angeles, uh, in New Orleans. Los Angeles will be here next week. Manning for Harris. and catch Archie Manning to Harris and you said it Pat a very very big first down mainly it put the giant defense back on its heels a little bit a great throw look at this catch by Harris and Jackson's got him under control just can't keep him for catching it so it'll be a first down Saints at the Giant 26 clock running at eight and a half minutes left to play 17 14 New Orleans Harris now comes in motion Manning to Muncy. Muncy breaks out of the grass to Phil Tabor and manages to pick up a couple of yards before Harry Carson can take him down. But Tabor hit him just on the exchange. Good pass blocking by New Orleans allowed Archie to get off that long one to Harris. Now on this one, Tabor runs in out of control. You can see how big Muncy is and how strong. And now Harry Carson gets a hold of you. That's rough. That's rough action there. 26 20. Jets over Miami now. Von Schumann, a field goal, 37 yards. Good kicker, huh? That's why your premium is here. Manning trying to screen and does to Tony Galbert. Miller. Fumble oh. by Galbert. And the Giants have it. Brian Kelly picked it up. Calvin Miller caused it. Kelly got it. Killer Miller. That's what everybody's been kidding him about. But you can't, you can't do it without effort. The screen to the left side. The Saints playing a little bit loose, I think, on offense to be trying these kind of plays. Look at that Miller. 265 pounds. He's out in the flat tackling from behind. And so the Giants will have it. As Manning's screen pass works, 
and then turns into disaster. 7.29 left to play. I had my own way of tackling. I used to grab the whole backfield. Then I threw guys out until I found the one with the ball. When I started drinking beer, I did the same thing. And this is the one I'm holding on to. Light beer from Miller. It has a third less calories than the regular beer. It's less filling, and it tastes terrific, too. I also love the easy opening can. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Spread your wings. Introducing the new 1980 Thunderbird, a Thunderbird of new contemporary size that shows its elegant heritage wherever you look. And with its new size and a new 4.2 liter engine, this Thunderbird has excellent estimated gas mileage and also offers the first automatic overdrive option built in America, a new engineering breakthrough. Coming October 12th, but see it now during this special preview week. From Stillwater, Oklahoma, a couple of years ago, then Saskatchewan. That Miller makes a heck of a play, doesn't he? And Brian Kelly is right on the scene to pick it up. The Giants break the huddle. The line of scrimmage, their own 30. 7.29 left to play. Johnson and Doug Cota. Now the running backs. Billy Taylor did well when he played. That's Cota. And Doug slashes for about five. Monday night on CBS, the White Shadow. Our friend Ken Howard, MASH, the last resort. And Lou Grant, by and another way, friend, Ed Asner. By the way, Ed Asner said to stop telling people that he is from Bowling Green and played football there. He never did. He went to the University of Chicago where they had dropped football like 10 or 15 years before that. He says they're even putting him on the foundation at Bowling Green. They think he went there too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did. Doesn't remember. <laughs> There's Johnson banging straight ahead near a first down and perhaps, well, not quite enough. Sims is now 8 of 15 for 115 yards and the one interception. Now he's trying to get the ground game going again without putting it up until he really wants to put it up off a play pass. And Van Horn seems to have sort of ignited the offensive line. They're coming off strongly. Van Horn and Sims both. They'll measure to see if this is a first down. 17-14 with six minutes and 37 seconds left to play at the New Orleans Superdome. The Saints at one time led 17-0. It looked like it might be all over for another day. First down, Giants. You know, Bill Austin said that Simmons got into a fist fight the other day at practice. Some people ran over to break it up, and he said, don't. It's the first time he's seen anything like that. Emotional in quite a while around the New York Giants camp. Sometimes that's good during the week. If, you know, if they pull them off of you after they get you down, I mean. <laughs> Two minutes to go in New York, Shea Stadium, with the Jets leading 33 to 20 over Miami. And another undefeated team looks like they might be gone. 6 15 left to play in this contest. The Giants trailing 17 14, and Sim under pressure fires and throws it away. Just barely gets it by Doug Coder. Luckily escaped an interception with that one. Sims has sometimes got to learn to eat it. I know that's probably the hardest thing and perhaps the most injurious to your health way of doing it, but he's got to stop throwing the ball. Philadelphia in the four, still leading Pittsburgh. 17 14 score. With 112 left in the fourth period. Bradshaw hit John Stallworth. It's a pretty one, good contest, huh? 112 left in the total contest. Straight ahead goes Johnson, breaks a couple of tacklers, gets to the 45, about a four-yard pickup. Tom Myers, the safety man, again on the tackle. Johnson has really enjoyed his time. Looks like he appreciates it. That is the final score, by the way, 13-10. The Vikings beat Detroit. Detroit's record now stands at one and four. The Vikings are three and two. Third and six here. Cobb comes to its feet. And Sims is hit down. Doug oh. Coder was the intended receiver. The pass was right there, but Coder was really popped. 
And he's hurt. Tom Myers came over the safety man and caught Doug when he didn't even see it coming. Number 44 isolated. Sandy Grossman, you caught it. Here's the back. Now watch him look over his shoulder. He's going to beat the linebacker. And now the safety man will show up and full speed ahead. Oof, that is contact. You know, you hate to see anybody hurt. That goes without saying, and Doug Coder is suffering at the moment. But as we look at it again, watch a perfect pass. This ball is well thrown. It's laid just over the linebacker. And Doug, of course, is going for the catch. He's got 62 yards rushing. Tough, and Myers hits him hard and legally. Here's a great Radio Shack bargain for people on the go. A take-along realistic entertainment system. It's an AM, FM radio for music and news, a cassette tape player. With this built-in mic, I can record lectures, meetings, even personal notes anywhere. Right now at Radio Shack, it's only $59.95. That's $30 off. Realistic radio recorder, like having a take-along entertainment system. Now sale price, just $59.95 at Radio Shack, a Tandy company. Introducing the first new truck of the 80s, the only American 4x4 pickup with independent front suspension, the 1980 Ford. And for the first time ever, we're going to run a four-wheel drive over these 4x4 beams next to this wall of light bulbs. A rod is attached to the front wheel and another to the door. Now watch as Ford's unique 4x4 independent front suspension steps over the beams independently. The wheel rod is breaking bulbs, but the door rod doesn't. Come into your Ford dealer now for a special preview of the first new truck of the 80s. A priest falls from the Golden Gate Bridge. Suicide. Someone is trying to kill me. A cop and a beautiful nun. Together they might find the truth and each other. The Golden Gate Murders, Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Good to see Doug Coder walking off under his own power. Sure is. The Los Angeles Lakers against the San Diego Clippers. It's the first shot by the NBA on CBS this year. Huh? It's going to be a good game. Featuring Magic. Magic Johnson. And Bill Walton and Kareem Abdul Jabbar and assorted other stars. High snap to Jennings. Gets it away and gets a lot of foot in it. Not a spiral, not a clean one. But nevertheless, a good kick that's fair caught at the 15. Ball's in the court now of the New Orleans Saints. There's still 518 left. They've got to get a few first downs and finish this game. Pirates can breathe a little bit easier now as they lead five to two. Myers is limping. He was involved in that uh, collision a minute ago with Doug Coder. That punt by Jennings, 37 yards. And Myers, they cannot afford to be without. Big defensive series for the Giants. They're trying to force a turnover. You've got Carson Van Pelt and Kelly. And that secondary is hanging pretty tough. It's going to be a good series. 5-15, 5-18 make it left to play in this contest. Archie Manning still the same quarterback. The Giants take the blitz. They give to Galbert. And he covers up the football and covers very few yards with it. Maybe he got one, but not much more. Lloyd's in there, number 54. And it looks to me like the Giant defense is even more aggressive, at least in the second half, than they have been all season. That's a pretty good offensive team, and they've really sort of shut them down. We've got Lloyd and Miller. Again, we got Tabor, George Martin. Lloyd is the middle linebacker, placing Carson. They take a blitz, Manning. Looking in the direction of Harris, throws to Harris and got it. And what a hit by Ray Rhodes, but Harris caught oh, on. What a catch. I have never seen such contact made on these pass plays. And Harris has made three catches. And each one was more spectacular than the one before it. 21 yard pickup and Harris is now down. You think these people don't go all out and don't tell me big salaries and big motor cars make guys reluctant to give it all. That is some effort a great catch and a, a, a stick and tackle. There were two vicious hits. Once when the initial contact was made and once when he takes him down to the turf. Watch this. Archie Manning with a lot of time to throw. Obviously, you can't let a 
There's Lassie one. quarterback with that much time. Bang. The other one. Final score Pittsburgh losing to the Eagles 17 14. So the Eagles record is now four and one. Pittsburgh is also four and one. Here's the catch again by Ike Harris. He's up now. He's three feet off the ground making this catch. He and Dobler came here from St. Louis for Pollard and I believe uh, Stipe. Dave Stipe, right. Here's Ike Harris coming off. That is the final score that Tom Brookshire just gave you. The Eagles 17, Pittsburgh 14, and Philadelphia will be humming tonight. In the direction of Henry Childs, Manning throws high. Beasley Reese on the cover. I just noticed who was clapping over on the sidelines. Joe Pisarczyk. Of course, he's such a team type person anyway. Joe started the game. Phil Sims replaced him. Out goes Carson. There's uh, Phil Sims looking at uh, Joe Pisarczyk. Sims out of your picture at the moment. Gary Jeter pulled a muscle in his leg. He won't be back. Manning's book today is 15 out of 29. Second and 10. Deep. Marty, the intended receiver. Back there with him was Terry Jackson. 4-10 left to play now. Archie Manning threw that 50 yards right on the money. Great defensive play by Jackson and looked like he was in better position to catch it than, than Marty. By the way, Doug Coder is okay. He bit his tongue and took a heck of a shot. Ice Harris on. back into the game for the New Orleans Saints. And Rich Marty comes out. A lot of contact in this contest. That's what the Saints have done on third down today. Four out of 12. That's far below their seasonal average. They were among the best. Here comes the giant blitz. And Tony Gomer has it. And he will have the first down with that cutback. Beasley Reyes took him down, but Tony Gomer got the first down when he stopped and cut back. Well, it's a good-looking play. The blitz comes from the right-hand side. You can see Lloyd starting up the middle. Miller fighting. Van Pelt putting pressure on, but that's exactly what Archie Manning and company anticipated. Galbraith is really a good football player. Martin really hustling. That'll be a first down Saints with 337 now left to play. Top of the ninth inning, Philadelphia leads Montreal 2-0. St. Crowd comes to its feet again as West Chandler takes the pass from Manning. Does a couple of jukes, but Terry Jackson is not to be juked. Eye to eye. Jackson never moved. Usually the defensive back begins to start moving because the offensive player is juking him, but Jackson acted like he was just going to wait until it was all over and then tackle. He did. Four yard pickup, make it. Second and six. Clock still running with 2.55 left to play. The Saints lead the Giants 17 to 14. Second and six. Archie Manning with Chuck Muncy and Tony Galbert behind him. To Galbert. Another New Orleans Saint first down. Otis McKinney finally made the tackle. Number 23. But the Saints now with two and a half minutes left to play. After an 11-yard pickup, seemed to have things in control. Your most valuable saint might be number 34. What a great move he made following his blockers. He never seems to be in a hurry. Some crowd applause on the replay up here on the gondola. Good draw action by that Saints offense. Pretty good-looking unit. It'll be first down New Orleans at the Giant 34. And that will be the two-minute indication to both benches, to Ray Perkins for the Giants, to Dick Nolan for the New Orleans Saints, as Archie Manning comes over to talk to his head coach, 17-14, he leads. Now, the trick is, in just three moves, they get the light bottle caps all together, moving two each time, once, twice, three. 
What? That's easy. Hey, I could I put away a lot of beer, beer by the time they figure this one out. That's why I'm drinking light beer for most. Not only does light taste great, but it's got a third less calories than their regular beer. And it's less filling. Hey, what's going on here? Okay, once more. One, two, three. What? That's easy. Let me in. Light beer from Miller. Every Thank you, Charlie. Oh, any time. The Die Hard sold only at Sears. With two minutes to go at the Superdome in New Orleans, Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. The Saints lead the Giants 17-14. A sparkling comeback by the Giants, led by their young number one draft choice, Phil Sims. Anderson and Young Johnson ran hard in there. Billy Taylor as well. What was it somebody said about Archie Manning though that his town was the school was so small in Drew Mississippi there were only 18 players on his team and they right. what well, they win five games is all when he was a senior. That's the most they've ever won. <laughs> he's he's quite a quarterback isn't he? Indeed he is. Right now he is Tony Culver closest to him. Mike Harris goes in motion behind him. Chuck Muncie is deep and Muncie will run the sweep. And Muncie is wrapped down. The ball is loose. Hit by Harry Carson is Chuck Muncie. And what a pop. That's one he'll remember. M Muncie pulled up the landing gear trying to get over. And the, one of the best tackling linebackers I think I've ever seen, number 53, catches him in the middle of the hurdle. Oh. Ball hit the ground, so it's dead. It's not a fumble, but that and is a good tackle. Muncie got it back. That is good, solid balance. 18 carries, 78 yards for Chuck Muncie, including the three that he got on that carry. Same offensive setup. Harris to the right, Chandler to the left. This is Tony Galbraith. Carson, again, with help from George Martin, made the tackle. George, George Martin took it inside. He'll be right in front of the camera. You can see Dober pulling outside. And they really sealed it off. The giant defense has picked up almost as much as the offense under Sims. Timeout is called by the Giants as Harry Carson goes over to talk. They have one timeout left. The Saints lead. If you choose your tools as carefully as you use them, choose Master Mechanic Tools from True Value Hardware Stores. Master Mechanic Tools are American-made from superior materials to give you the performance and long life you would expect from a professional quality tool. True Value Hardware Stores are so confident of this quality that they'll replace any master mechanic tool that fails to perform as expected. And that means any tool from the wide line of master mechanic tools sold only at participating True Value Hardware Stores. One minute, 13 seconds left to play at the Superdome where the New Orleans Saints who at one time led 17 nothing now lead 17 14 and not the single out in the individuals but that one field goal by Joe Donello could have tied this thing is the way things have happened. What do you look for here on third down a little roll action and dump it back to a back or something. Those of you that watched Washington defeat Atlanta 16 to 7 we're at the Superdome in New Orleans. Where the Saints are leading the Giants 17 14. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. Third down and six, and Archie Manning fires and has West Chamber. He got both. No, he didn't have it. Terry Jackson, the closest Giant defender. It certainly appeared to me at least that he had both feet down in bounds. The official must have felt that uh, Chandler did not have control of the ball, but. The feet were definitely in bounds. Here it is, deep sideline in front of Jackson. Looks good to me. Uh, the Saints are really upset. I don't blame them. You look back at the replay, which they just did, and Chandler clearly has both feet in bounds. Listen to the crowd. That's, of course, when people that are exponents of the replay system uh, are certainly right. There's no doubt about that. Again, Wes Chandler.
He's in. Inbounds. Here is Tony Galbert breaking tackle for Tony Galbert as we come back to live action. A first down inside the five. Otis McKinney saved it, but Galbert inside the five to about the three. That Ray, Ray Rose is down on the field, I believe. Here's the handoff inside. Yeah, he's the most valuable save today. Oh, what's some running? That's where Rhodes got knocked out by one of his own men, and Otis McKinney has to pull the fellow down from behind. Galbraith is really having a day. 26-yard gain for Tony Galbraith. Ray Rhodes, the injured giant. John Johnson standing astride looking on. Terry Jackson back looking at uh, his secondary colleague. Clock is stopped with 46 seconds left to play. The Saints leading the Giants 17-14. This crowd is going crazy. Stenner has done his usual good job in producing this game, and so has Sandy Grossman, who is the director. Steve Wegman, the associate producer. And all the rest of the people who have made our trip to New Orleans so delightful. It's always a pleasure to come here, don't you think? It really is. I'll tell you, when that ball was ruled out of bounds that Chandler caught, I was afraid they were going to take the leash off gumbo because this place exploded. Here's the throw, a perfect Archie Manning pass, deep sideline, and Chandler makes sure that you see it. The official is right there. Oh. And we come back to the Saint first and goal. And Chuck Muncy and the touchdown. Chuck Muncy at 230 pounds goes in standing. Nelson Jackson comes up, runs right through Jackson's uh, sort of a cross body block. 84 yards and 12 plays. And the Saints kept the ball a long time, almost five minutes to do what they had to do. Chuck Muncy's second touchdown of the day and both times he has sort of run through Terry Jackson. Kenyon makes it 24 to 14. Superdome crowd is alive with excitement at the moment. 24 14. The Saints over the Giants. Do you know me? Playing football, sure. But my name comes up zero in English rugby. So when I travel, I carry the American Express card. And even if I fumble and lose it, they'll give me another card fast. Usually the next business day. Lose the card and I'm protected. <laughs> you can lose your life in there. To apply for a card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. The crowd has started to depart now as the Saints with that touchdown by Chuck Muncy set up by... The run from Tony Galbraith making the score 24-14. And the Saint record would thus be 2-3. The Giants 0-5. But quite honestly, you could see some encouraging signs from the Giant quarterback situation. And the emotion of the entire Giant squad is, I thought, very high. And this could be the beginning of uh, something. Bill Sims has shown us why he was the number one draft choice as the premium kicks it into and out of the St. End zone. Larry Nelson, who is right up on the top of the money winning list, 
going into the World Series of Golf in first place at 10 under par, followed by Watson, Henkel, Rogers, and Kite all at 7 under. Watson with a good check today would go over $500,000. Here's the touchdown by Muncie again. Muncie has 80 yards on 19 carries, but since that first half, things have been tough. Number 42 really has to earn it. You just can't arm tackle him or throw something in his way. You really have to get help and hit him hard. It is all over in the National League Baseball. Philadelphia has defeated Montreal 2-0. The bomb oh, doesn't go off. Ray Brown, Jack Holmes, all of them back there. It was scales number 88. This ball is thrown 55 yards as cleanly as you'll ever see it and hits him on the hands. Good play by Brown. That could have been a big catch. You no, know, we're saying it's all over for Montreal. That is if Pittsburgh wins. And I don't believe that game is over yet. If Pittsburgh loses, then they'd still have to play that doubleheader against Atlanta tomorrow. Maybe we can get that information. But Sims can throw it. Strong yeah. arm. And quick setup that time didn't take long. <laughs> Sims being chased and Sims being sacked by Durland Moore. 28 seconds left on the clock. Derlin Moore with a smile. That's the first Saint sack of the day. The World Series of Golf right after football. Larry Nelson, the quiet young man from Kennesaw, Georgia, leading the World Series of Golf. The home of Larry Nelson. Judge Landis. Saints have the football on the interception by Eric Felton with the clock stopped now with 14 seconds left to play. It will stop on the change of possession. Look at Reese and a few of the Saints. Derlin Moore shaking hands with young Sims and all they're saying is hey you're going to be all right. You take a pop. I like the way he bounced back up after he'd been drilled and through the best pass of the day when hit Perkins on that sideline down there. The dismay. And you can tell, look at Ray Perkins and Pat Hoxson in the red shirt with the hands on the hips. Perkins to his right. What do you say? Archie Manning. Just has it snapped. The Giants start to depart. And Chuck Muncy puts up the sign that we are number one. New Orleans 24 the New York Giants 10 uh, 14 I beg your pardon. So for Tom Brookshire this is Pat Summerall saying so long from the Superdome in New Orleans the NFL on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports.